Hi kids. As I told you when we talked this last week on the phone, we're going to be going over what the score sheets look like. So first off, I want to tell you that the beginners A would be the kids that have never shown in the fair. All right, so what we've been working on with the signs would be the healing on leash. Next would be the figure eight that we'll be working on this week's lesson. And then next week we'll be doing the stand for exam. The recall, again remember, is our dog is put on a weight and then we leave them and we call them to us. They don't have to do a finish going back into heel position on the beginner novice A group. The sit stay, you go to the end of the leash and then the judge will tell you when to return to your dog. The down stay for you is to where you just have to put your dog into a down and be able to stand up next to your dog. All right, then we go into our kids that have shown at the fair before. And you guys would be in the beginner novice B class. You can see there's a couple of different changes here to where there's the stand for exam and you leave the dog and go to the end of the leash to where is the beginner novice A, they stay right next to their dog. The recall is all on leash and then there is also what's called the finish to where the dog goes back into heel position and that we'll be working on again too here in the next week or so. We have our sit stay to where you leave your dog, drop the leash, walk all the way around, but you need to be 10 foot walking around your dog. All right, the down stay is the exact same pattern to where you put your dog in a down, drop the leash next to them, and walk again around them in a 10 foot section. All right, there's a couple of you that are going to be ready for doing the sub-novice. Sub-novice is graduating up again, making it a little bit more challenging to where you've got your heel on leash, you've got your figure eight on leash, you've got your stand for exam, you've also got your recall, which is off leash. Then you've got your sit stay, then you've got your down stay. And again, the stand for exam is also a potential of being off leash. You just go the six foot away like normal that we'll be practicing again in our next class. All right, so those are the different score sheets that we're looking at for using. So you need to let me know on which class for the ones that have shown at the fair before on if you want to do the beginner novice B or if you want to go into the sub novice. Our talk for this week here is common different poisons and because we're starting to get into being outside and working in the yard it's a good thing to know what type of poisons are out there that our dogs can get into and potentially make them sick or if it's ingested it could end up killing our dogs. So you want to take a look at this and make sure that what you're using at home is safe to have around your dogs.